Hey everyone, welcome to my story. Today's my story is on discrimination, um, which is something that happens pretty much every single day in the world. Um, it's happened in history. It was an important part of history at one time. It has more to do with um, injustice and not agreeing on sex, race, or age, um, and pretty much being, like, racist, or sexist, or something like that towards people because of either their race, or their sex, or whatever, and it's something that touches my heart because I have family of pretty much all types of origins inside of, of my life. Um, and I don't think it's right. I mean, I honestly do not think that there's anything wrong with having a certain skin color or being a certain way at all. I mean, as I stated before in a previous video, God did not intend us all to be the same way. He wanted us all to be unique and all to be our own people and which something like discrimination comes about because people don't think that you should be a certain way or you should have a certain color skin or you should be male or female or you should be interested in certain type of people because or whatever and I honestly think that that's wrong I mean for example, like race, you can't help who your parents are, for one. I mean, when your parents reproduce, it pretty much says that most of your chromosomes or your genes come from your parents. And so if your parents are two people that are unique in ways that a lot of people might not like then you're going to come out unique like them and it doesn't necessarily have to be considered that way like I've already seen stories on like shows like what would you do where you can adopt and whatever uh, people adopt other races just because they want to. I mean, just because people adopt that race does not make it any different. I mean, I understand you might believe, okay, well, how are you going to deal with that type of person because you're not that race? But how do you know, honestly, that they can't? I mean, everybody is pretty much the same when it comes to actual needs in life um, compared to race. I mean, we are all human beings, and we are all interested in and unique in our own ways. And that's something that I don't, I do not understand why there's discrimination against because. There was wars over this stuff, like racism and all that. Like, when it comes to the slavery. Um, and back in the olden times when slavery was around, I honestly didn't agree with it because I was like, okay, well, that's just pretty much downright ignorant because you feel like certain people are lower than you because of their color of the skin. Like, honestly, what is the color of your skin besides pretty much nothing but tissue body tissue I mean we're all pretty much the same we have the same organs we have the same body parts it's just the color of the skin like what is the difference and then when it comes to sexuality and discrimination some people don't like it when you could be like quote bisexual or quote 
being in a relationship with an, a guy being in a relationship with a guy or a girl being in a relationship with a girl or some people are just racist because uh, sexist against uh, people that are in natural normal relationships where it's human male and human female I mean the way I see it you can't help who you love and God did not intend us all to be the same way I will be honest with you I labelize my own self as bisexual because I am both interested in men and women however I am more interested into men um, and that's just the way I am and um, I'm sure that there's going to be someone down the line that does have some type of discrimination against me because of that but let's face it I mean I can't help who I fall in love with and I can't help the fact that others are out there that are falling in love with people that they fall in love with which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that I mean the way I see it you have a right to feel love and everybody has a right to feel love in their life no matter who you are or what type of a label you want to give yourself or people want to give you now sex can also be considered a discrimination label because some people might say okay well a man can do this better than a woman or a woman can do this better than a man and in some cases some people might believe that either one is true but let's face it in a world that pretty much anybody can do anything that's not really true. I mean, a woman can have jobs that men can have. For example, for example, women can have jobs as police officers, just like men. And men can have jobs as professional dancers, which is something that most people say is for women. I mean, a man can do what a woman can do, and a woman can do what a man can do. So I don't understand this discrimination either. And last discrimination I have for you is age, which I don't quite understand why it's a big difference. Um, I mean, to me, age is just a number, but, um, I mean, when you are discriminating someone because their age, I mean, I don't think it's right. I mean, they can't help when they were born. I mean, they were came out um, and were born on his date for a reason and they were born on that day for some type of reason and only our Lord would know why and that's the day he wanted us them to be born that's the day that they were born so that's how old they were going to be so there's nothing that they could really do about it so I mean I don't understand the whole discrimination against that type of thing but either way I honestly say discrimination is something that I don't believe that this world should actually have at all because I mean one you can't control what color skin you have you can't control who you fall in love with you can't fall in love with someone that you don't fall in love with or you don't love and you can't help whether you're male or female and sometimes in some cases you might feel like you're born into you are born into the wrong sex which is absolutely fine um and then you go to get the procedures to get that changed and fixed in a sense and then age i mean you can't honestly just help what age you are so this is something in the world that's going to happen no matter what happens but I honestly gotta say that it's something in the world that I honestly would truly just ignore or let it go even though it can be very difficult to do that because I mean you can't control how you are and how unique you are in the world but I can say that everybody in this world is absolutely beautiful no matter what they labelize themselves are or what people labelize you as and that's something that honestly touches my heart to see that there's people out there of all different kinds of um uniqueness 
in the world and it really really aggravates me that there's people out there that are truly ignorant to people because of some of these things um and for example like there's stories about it all over the time even now about various type of discriminations and i'm like it's 2017 get over it already like for example i know i don't want to name the actual restaurant because um there's a thing and i don't want to do that because I, I just don't think it's right but um i know there's a restaurant close actually by our house not very far um that there was a couple that went in there and they ate their food an example and the couple was an african-american gentleman and a white woman or caucasian woman and they were a couple and there's nothing wrong with that at all um and they got their receipt and it said one African American or one black and one white and in a sense that was kind of being discriminated against the African American gentleman because of his skin and that's something that was truly ignorant in a way because it shows that it can come from absolutely anywhere and that's something that I my personally self think was absolutely wrong to do um, and I honestly think that in that circumstance, I wouldn't have paid for my order. I honestly think I would have just got up and walked out because that was very, very ignorant to even write that on a receipt. Um, because as I said before, you can't help who your uh, parents are and you can't help how you look in a way. God wants you to look that way for a reason. And you can't help this color of your skin. And so I'm going to end this out. But next week's My Story will be on stress and ways that you can get rid of stress in modern time. Because it's a, something that everybody has to deal with at some point in their lives. Um, so have a great day. Peace. And don't let anybody labelize you. And don't let anybody discriminate against you just because of race, skin, your sexuality, the way you are. Just be yourself. Be unique. And don't let anybody get you down. Peace.